What's up everybody? This is Ryan Darks here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are a new viewer, so glad to have you. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for tuning in to another video. So today I thought it was a great opportunity to talk about an essential item that I feel like should be in every man's wardrobe, the all white sneaker. As you can see, I have a plethora of them. I have, this is pretty much the only number I could fit on the table, but I have a lot of them. Um, I probably don't need any more, but yeah, the white sneaker is a very important item to have. You can pretty much wear it with anything. Doesn't matter what top you have on, what bottoms you have on, you throw on any type of white sneaker and you're pretty much good to go. Um, any day of the week. So like I said, we're going to be talking about the white sneaker today. It's a very essential item and it looks good on anybody. Um, you can wear it year round, fall, winter. It's fall time right now. It'll look good with any outfit you throw on. Winter's coming up. It'll look good with any outfit you throw on. So I feel like it's a great item to have. In my opinion, it should be the very first sneaker that you do get because it's such an important item and it does go with anything. I know a lot of us like those trendier sneakers with the you know brighter louder colors but trends come and go so it's very wise to invest your time and money into classic items that are timeless that will make you look good years from now no matter what time it is what year it is you always look good with an all white sneaker um, so we're going to be talking about some white sneakers of mine some of my favorites that i think you guys should check out i probably won't be talking about some ones that you guys think i will be this is this is more so me giving you guys some other options that you may not be aware of but they're very affordable um i know a lot of times i've came on here and talked to you guys about some pricier items so i thought it'd be a good idea to give you guys you know just more affordable options and things like that um like I said, white sneakers are a lot of brands make them so they can come in, you know, uh, cheaper prices. I've seen some for as twenty, thirty dollars. I've seen some a lot on the higher end for like five hundred dollars. So um, I want to talk about some that hit that that middle ground, you know, of great, um, great craftsmanship, but also at a very reasonable price. So the first sneaker we'll be talking about. Oh, and by the way, before I get into this, I have bought all these myself, so none of this is sponsored or anything. This is me giving you guys, once again, my honest opinion about what I think you should maybe take a look at. So, moving forward, first sneaker we have here is the Puma All White Classics. Um, it's just a pretty clean look. Um, I love Puma's white sneakers, as you can see, the Puma sign here in silver. Um, Thicker sole here. I kind of like the thicker sole on the Puma on the Puma shoe. Gives off the Puma logo again on the sole there, and you know it has that classic three lines there, the classic Puma logo. Um, but yeah, it's a great shoe, very affordable, seventy dollars, so it doesn't break the bank. Um, but it is a shoe I highly recommend. Goes with a lot of things. Great casual shoe. Um, so yeah, check out the Puma Classics in all white. Very very good pickup in my opinion. Second shoe we have here is the Reebok Club C 85s. So a lot of you guys may not know what these are. Um, I kind of just got hip to them recently, but I love Reeboks guys. They make great casual shoes for me in my opinion. Um, got that gum bottom as well. I love gum bottoms. And so yeah, this is the Club C 85s. Has some nice air holes here. Um, this has a nice design on it. Um, pretty more of a white sneaker, of course, but it also has some, as you can see, the blue trim here with the Reebok sign. I kind of like the subtle details on that as well. Instead of like a plain all white, this kind of gives you just, you know, a little more unique details showing off that the uh, Reebok logo and things like that. So like I said, this is the Reebok Club C85s. Just super nice design. Like I said, the gum bottoms on the bottom. Reebok also does a great job with Displaying the gum bottoms there is another great thing I like about Reeboks. So, Club C 85s. These are low tops as well. A lot of my shoes, well, basically all my shoes are low tops. I haven't really seen any high tops that I like yet. So, if you know any high top white sneakers, just drop it in the comments because I don't know. I haven't seen too many high top white sneakers that catch my eye. So, I'm more of a low top guy, but yeah. So, Club C 85 Reeboks, great shoe. Give it a look. Next, staying in the Reebok family, we have the Reebok Classics. Now, 
out of all my white sneakers, I probably wear this one the most. This is probably my all-time favorite white sneaker. Um, it's a great casual shoe. I wear it with pretty much anything. Jeans, sweatpants, shorts. It looks good, matches with anything. Um, kind of has the little subtle Reebok uh, there. This one's more of a gray color versus the last one was kind of in blue letters. Um, but it has that gum bottom again. And yeah, I just love the, the Reebok design. I think they make great shoes. This is equivalent to my Nike Air Force One. I know a lot of you guys are big on the Air Force One. I'm not really an Air Force One guy. I'm more of a Reebok guy. The Air Forces are a little too bulky on me, in my opinion. So I usually try to go for the Reeboks. But like I said, this is the Reebok Classics. Great shoe. Um, these were 75 and the club c85s were 70 so very affordable items um but yeah i love reebok so great shoe to wear i know you guys are like very used to nikes and vans and all that but we'll definitely recommend checking out reeboks and pumas now as we move on to the fourth shoe here this is the new republic kurt leather sneaker and all white um so with this shoe it's much different than these three because with this one as you can see no logos it's a clean display i honestly feel like every person needs at least at least one clean all white sneaker no logos nothing like that it just you can dress it up you can dress it down i could wear this with a suit and a tie i could wear this with jeans i could wear this with shorts anything like that versus the other ones they wouldn't really look as good if you had like a suit on with these reeboks right so um i think it's a very wise decision to invest in at least one all-white plain sneaker um it's just a it's a great investment like i said you get the most bang for your buck and you can wear it for a long time from now it goes with anything any occasion you're good with the all-white clean sneaker um, but like I said, this is a New Republic Kurt. If you aren't hip to New Republic, they're a great brand. They make a lot of boots, um, loafers, nice shoes, things like that. So great brand. Now these I paid $100, but I think recently they cut the price down on these to $88. So if you look at them now and see you like them, you'd actually be beating me out because I paid $100 for these and now they sell for $88. But Great shoe. Yeah, like I said, um, go with pretty much anything. I really do believe that you guys need an all-white sneaker with just plain all-white, no logos, nothing like that. You'll get a lot of use out of it. This also really emulates the Common Projects. If any of you guys are hip to the Common Projects, those are like a much more higher. They're much more on the higher side of white sneakers. I think they charge like 400 or 500 for those shoes. So um, very expensive, but of course not everyone wants to pay that. So this pretty much looks the exact same as the Common Projects, um, but it's drastically cheaper. So yeah, New Republic Kurt, great shoe. Highly recommend you guys check out um, New Republic for their footwear. Last but not least, we have this all white calf leather sneaker from the brand Suit Supply. Um, Suit Supply is another nice brand. They make very high quality footwear and affordable price um, they also make you know nice clothing items as well but this one is similar to the new republic clean all white sneaker i can pretty much wear this whenever i want i can wear it with the suit can wear it with you know some jeans um, so it's nice to have some versatility with you know those white sneakers that have no logos anything like that you just get a lot more use out of them and you can wear them for you know much more occasions and different events and things like that now these were 180 these are i say these are last because they were the most expensive but still not too expensive you know more affordable for majority of people so i thought it was they were good to put on this list as well so if you are not hip to suit supply they're another great brand you should check out for a clean all-white sneaker um they're a leather inside as well, which doesn't matter too much because when you're wearing it, you don't really see that anyway. But when you're looking at it close up, it's a cool feature that it has on it. So um, great, great shoe, um, great brand. So check out Suit Supply, definitely. 
Now also, when you have these nice leather shoes, you gotta, you know, we gotta keep the shoe tree in there, right? So, you know, all this will crease up, unfortunately, if you don't have those shoe trees in there, especially with white leather sneakers because they're white. So those creases show up um, pretty quickly, unfortunately. So it's nice to take care of them to the best of your ability. So guys, I hope you enjoyed me ranting about my favorite white sneakers at the moment. If there are any that you feel like should be on the list, like I said, I know you guys like Air Forces and Vans and things like that, but I wanted to give you guys some, some brands that you may not be as aware of that you maybe would be interested to check out. Um, I feel like everyone knows about like the Air Forces and things like that. So I think it's good to, you know, mix it up, have a different, different selection. Um, but with white sneakers, they are, you know, they do get dirty kind of easily. So you got to make sure you're taking care of them, which would be another video for another day. So I'll most likely do a video on that as well, because I know some people kind of struggle to keep their white sneakers um, clean. So, yeah be on the lookout for a video like that in the future. So guys, let me know, like I said, any of your favorites in the comments that maybe were on this list or some new ones that you learned about today that you will be interested to check out. Um, drop a comment, make sure to like and subscribe in the video as well. Um, guys, make sure you keep your shoes clean. It's the first thing a girl notices. You know, if you look back on my, my show uh, two episodes ago, my sister Bria said how important it is to keep your shoes clean. So. We got to keep our shoes clean. So that's it for me today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.